Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Donna, and for those of you not new, thank you so much for continuing to come back and support my channel. I appreciate all of you so, so very much for doing so. Uh, today, I'm super excited because I was tagged in a video. My friend Sherry created her own tag, and that's super exciting in and of itself because when you're able to create a tag that lots of other creators do, like there's some sense of like pride in that, I feel like. And I've seen tags go from little mini micro influencer to giant influencer. So I think that that is amazing. And uh, I have a handful of tags that I have actually physically been tagged in. So it's really fun um, to actually be tagged in a, in a tag. So how I run my tags though, with that being said, how I run my tags though is like, I'm here, I'm going to do this tag. And if you want to do it, do it. <laughs> because Inevitably, I forget to tag the people that mean something to me that are near and dear to my heart, and it always makes me feel bad. So I'm like out here doing this tag saying, hey, if you want to do this tag, do this tag. Also, Sherry and I run in the same circles, so she tagged probably everybody that I would tag anyway. So this is called the Long Lippy Tag, and it is by Miss Sherry Ward. Miss Sherry Ward is an amazing content creator here on YouTube. She's been around for a while. I have done one collab with her during my Vlogmas. I will go ahead and link that up in the cards, wherever it is that it goes, and show you guys her beautiful face right here so that you guys can see her. If you are so inclined, I suggest you go watch her. She is freaking hilarious and we're pretty kindred in how our thought processes run for, for makeup, which I think is, I don't know, it's weird getting out here on the YouTubes and really finding people that you just vibe with and Sherry is just one of those people that I vibe with. I love her content. She has creative content that she comes up with all the time. In addition to that, she's part of a collab group. They're doing collaborations constantly. And a lot of the ladies in that collab group are also friends of mine here on YouTube. Go check Sherry out. She's awesome. You'll love her bloopers at the end. They're always freaking hilarious. I always laugh out loud when I'm watching her videos and so will you. I guarantee it. Uh, thank you so much, Sherry, for tagging me in this. And now let's get into it. And I have to say that this is probably one of the areas that Sherry and I are not kindred. I have said many times in my videos, and if you have been around for even a smidgen of a second, you know I don't like my lips much. I don't wear lipstick very often, and the reason why is because I just think my lips are wonky shaped. I feel like my upper lip isn't, nothing is symmetrical on a person's face, but I feel my lips are just really not symmetrical on my face. So one side kind of frowns more than the other. Uh, one side of my upper lip is more flat on the down slope than the other side. So it just, it looks weird. And when I try and overline to make them equal, it's a horrible mess. And <laughs> yeah, so I'm not a huge lippy person. She is. She is very much a lippy person. So her tag is the long lippy tag. It does have quite a few questions. There are 15 questions and then a bonus question in addition to that. The first question is, what is your favorite no-nonsense, always works, go-to lippy? So I guess my first one, so first of all, this is my little clear bag that I carry around in my purse that has things like my hand cream in here, um, some makeup setting spray in here, and all of my lippies in it that I carry around with me. And I figured if we're going to talk about lippies that are my go-tos, these are probably it. So I went ahead and got that and brought it in here with me. My favorite no-nonsense always works go-to lippy is going to have to be this one. It is the Makeup Geek Showstopper, and I actually got this in a boxy charm, I do believe. Like, at first I didn't know if I was going to like it, because it is kind of a weird formula. It doesn't, like, feel super creamy, but it doesn't also feel very dry. 
So it's just kind of this weird like formulation that I wasn't really sure about. And this was the first product that I had tried by Makeup Geek. What I will tell you is I had a different one and I let a friend of mine borrow it, who was an acquaintance actually, and she never brought it back. <laughs> and I missed it so much that I actually purchased another one because I couldn't, I couldn't be without it. So this is the Showstopper by Makeup Geek, and I'm not even sure what shade it is, honestly. But this is what the shade looks like. It is just a pretty perfect nude for me. I just really kind of love it. It's got like just enough pink in it, but just enough gray in it that it kind of like just, it's just really super perfect and it's comfortable. It does move around, so it's not like not transferable. I do have to reapply it. It goes on your lips and kind of stays where you put it, but is movable, but isn't. I don't know. It's just the weirdest formulation, but it is my, probably my, my goest toest <laughs> lippy in my collection. When I have no other lip that I think looks appropriate, this is the one I put on. Question number two is what lippy color family do you prefer? Nudes, pinks, reds, or vamps? I would say I never wear reds. Okay, not never. I have been known to wear a red maybe twice in my whole lipstick career. And the reason why is because if you recall at the beginning of this, I said when I put on a lippy, it's just kind of a hot mess. Reds are the worst. Nudes, I prefer more of a like brown mauve tone of nude, not pink not too pink, not a pink person, though I'm wearing pink, which is kind of funny. I do like a like mauve nude or a, a like a vampy lip. My lighting is not amazing today because there's snow everywhere, so I can't get my white balance together. Okay, question three, your favorite Mac lippy if you have one. I have one Mac lippy. And it is this color here. It is the shade Burning Love. And this is it. I really, I think I've worn it twice, to be honest. And it is just a really pretty, like, deep purple mauve tone. It's got kind of a berry nature to it. That is it. But it runs right along that, like, deep vampiness for me. I like to pair it a lot with a more brown lip liner. It looks phenomenal with like a light brown underneath it. It pairs really well with this Makeup Geek Showstopper actually. I have a friend that has over 400 MAC lipsticks <laughs> and it cracks me up because I don't understand the draw to it. But maybe it's because I'm not a lip person. I hear MAC lipsticks are phenomenal but that's lost on me. I, I don't quite understand it, to be honest. So the next question, number four, is what is your favorite fall lippy? So my favorite fall lippy is going to honestly be this tone. I like the deeper berries, the more vampy berry tones than I do anything else. I also like really dark browns, so... I love tones that are really kind of like brownish, um, like maybe even a little bit gray toned and kind of vampy. So these would be like my go-to fall colors, like a deep dark berry, a really like muted brown or a purple gray tone brown. This one here is actually a Jeffree Star color uh, called Delicious. And this one here is actually a Lisbon in the N NYX matte soft matte lip creams, which I love the NYX soft matte lip creams. I think they are super, super comfortable. They remind me of the Makeup Geek one, but those are going to be my favorite fall tones, honestly. I think that's when like fall and winter is really when the vampy darker lips come out for me. I really like, I have a 
Mm, I guess I have more than that as far as a MAC lippy goes. I do have a couple of liquid lipsticks in the MAC formula that are kind of old, actually. But they smell, they still smell real good. And I really love, love this chocolate brown, that chocolate brown right there with this kind of more muted brown just plopped right into the center and blended out. So kind of like um, that going on on my lips, but blended out really well. Yes. Those are my favorite. And that is what I go for in the fall. I think fall and winter all fall into the deep berries, browner toned lipsticks for me, the more vampy in nature. What is your favorite spring lippy? And the next question is, what is your favorite summer lippy? lippy? My favorite spring lippy is going to be a nude. It's going to be more of a pink tone nude, but it's going to be a nude. So I'm gonna say probably a color like this that's a little more pink in tone than brown in tone. It's got a little bit of coral in there, but gives, gives a nice like pink nature to it. I kind of like this one by Jolie Cosmetics that's a little bit more lavender. I have this one by Jeffree Star is going to be the most outlandish you would ever see me get in my spring colors, but that would be one too. I would mute that out with a little more of a lavender in nature color story, but those two would be my like go-to spring and for summer my go-to summer lippy is just a gloss I don't know what it is about summer but I really love a gloss during the summer so like a nude lip liner with a gloss over the top or a berry lip liner with a gloss over the top is really where I go for summer so my favorites are these buxom ones this is the full-on lip cream in dolly and that would be my favorite one for summer you can see this guy is it's been laying in my thing but i don't know if you guys can tell but it's like almost gone <laughs> it's next to almost gone and um before this one i had a lippy in here that's also was also a buxom full-on lip lip cream but it was in a shade that is not it's discontinued now I, I can't remember what shade it was it was kind of like a mauve dolly dolly's a little more pink so that would be my go-to summer lippy and then what is your favorite lip balm lip mask and lip treatment so my favorite lip balm is honestly this one i carry it with me all the time and it is just a yes to coconut lip balm I love this thing it is so nourishing I feel like on my lips uh, I don't wear a whole lot of lip balm but when I do it's not gonna be a chapstick it's not gonna be I feel like those are super waxy this one I feel like is super hydrating I could be wrong who knows about the ingredients I really do love the Bite Agave lip mask. This one is a rather newer one to my collection, but you see it's kind of got this yellow tint to it. It's got not the best smell to it, but I love this and I do have it in a like a pot almost as well, but I love this. Just the ease of it is super great. And then like at night, every night, I use this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. You guys, this isn't probably the best stuff for your lips, but I will tell you, my little daughter suffers from the worst chapped lips I have ever seen in my life. Like, they get so trapped all the way around her lips, and a couple of her sleeping overnight with this on, me putting it on the next morning, and it's gone. So she lives in this throughout the winter time. I know that this is almost gone and a lot of it is because I use it on her and then also on me. All right, number eight is what is your favorite lip scrub? So my favorite lip scrub is actually this one and it is by Laura Geller. And it's the Laura Geller Lip Strips 
smoothing sugar scrub and I love that it's in a squeezy tube so you don't have to dig your fingers into it which is not my favorite thing about the Laneige sleepy mask and it's not my favorite thing about any lip scrubs that you have there's not uh, you can keep it more sanitary right but in addition to that, like it tastes good. And I know that you're not supposed to eat this stuff, but it tastes good. I can leave it on my lips, you know, and work around and it doesn't hurt. Sometimes you get those lip scrubs that really just kind of the, the exfoliating crystals, the sugar crystals, whatever it is that they put into it that make it so that it's scrubbing at your lips, they hurt. They're, they're too big or they're too pokey or whatever it is. I had a pure Expo lip scrub pen of sorts that was in my project pan last year that I hated using because every single time I used it, I felt like I was tearing the crap out of my lips more than I was helping my lips by exfoliating them. So there's that. That Laura Geller one is nice. It's gentle and it works. So, and it tastes good. <laughs> Don't eat it, but it does, it does taste good. Number nine, what is your favorite brand and shade of lip gloss? So I think I already told you, but my favorite brand of lip gloss is the Buxom Full On Lip Whatevers. I most recently have had a couple lip creams. They also have just a regular gloss. What I like best about these is that they're not super sticky. They feel really good on your lips. They say plumping but the, it's not plumping to the effect that you feel like your lips are being stung by a hundred hornets. It's plumping in the sense that you can feel a little bit of tingle to it. It's got maybe a minty ness to it, but it's not horrible. Um, and they, their longevity is fantastic. Yes, you have to reapply. You do with any gloss, but I would say that this stays on a lot longer than most of my other lip glosses do. So this would be my favorite. My favorite shade is probably going to be somewhere around this line. I think I've had this one. I've had that other one that I was talking about. That one would be my favorite, honestly, but it's no longer. It's discontinued now. I think it was Veronica. It was more of a purple in tone, pink, maybe white Russian is really pretty too. Number 10 is do you like lip toppers? So I have a couple from Lime Crime, these guys here. I have this one from Urban Decay. This is the Vice uh, Special Effects Reverb. I don't mind lip toppers. I, I think that you have to be in a specific scenario for it to look decent. Uh, I think that I have only honestly used these, except for this one. This one I've worn several times, but these purple ones, you kind of have to be in the right scenario. I would say like going out to a party, wearing all like a monochromatic makeup look, uh, taking pictures for Instagram. Like there has to be a certain purpose for me to actually put these on my lips, but I don't mind them. I also have been known to pop a little highlight onto the center of my lips, depending on, you know, the highlighting palette that I'm working with for the day. So, I mean, a lip topper is almost the same in my opinion. And so I don't mind a lip topper. I think a lip topper used in a, in a good context is appropriate and looks decent. I think sometimes people take a lip topper and lather it all over your lips and I don't really necessarily think that they look best like that. I think that they look best right smack in the middle of your lip, maybe dot it together or, or pat it out just a little bit so that you get it on either end and it blends. It looks well blended. But other than that, I, I don't not like them. Uh, number 11 is what's your favorite lippy format? Mattes, creams, satins, or liquid lips? I like liquid lips because of the longevity of them, but I don't do well with liquid lipsticks. They always come out looking atrocious. Uh, they always, always are a hot mess for me. So I'm gonna say we're gonna scratch that off the list right away. Although I do have some like Jeffree Star, these MAC ones, you know, these lip soft matte cream ones work better for me. Some work better than others, but for the most part, I'm a hot mess with liquid or yeah, liquid lipsticks. So that will come right off the list. 
I really like a creamy formula. I believe that these are creamy. I carry them around with me all the time. These are Becca lipsticks that we also got in Boxy Charm. My mom got one. I got the other. She gave me hers, and so I have both now. Um, the creamier the formula, the better for me, but I would also say that the creamier the formula, the more it travels and moves around and is a little less intentional. So I have to be really careful with any formula. I like it to be probably a soft matte, which is where these NYX, where these kind of fall in is that they are creamy enough that they make your lips feel good but also matte enough that they don't travel all over the place, which is something I need them to not do because I'm already a hot mess with putting on lipstick. I don't need my lipstick to be fighting against me as well. What is that then? A soft matte would be more like a satin maybe, right? I would say a soft matte would be more like a satin. I know that that MAC lipstick that I have that I love is more of a satin formula. Here's the other thing, like you can tell that I'm not a lippy connoisseur because of how I'm answering these questions. Like I don't know the difference between a matte bullet lipstick and a creamy bullet lipstick and a satin bullet lipstick. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you the difference because they all look exactly the same. To me it's like a bullet lipstick or a liquid lipstick or a lip gloss. Like those are the three options. <laughs> Not all these other options. Sherry, you did me dirty. So number 12, what is your favorite high-end lippy brand? So here's here's the true tea. I don't know. I have some Pat McGrath gl glosses that I absolutely love. I have a lipstick from her. Like I think that her formula is great. Do I think it's worth the money? No. I think that you can get the same kind of formulation from say Fenty or... I actually like Fenty's lip gloss formula better than I like Pat McGrath's. So there's that. I love Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks. I do love Ofra liquid lipstick formula. I also really love the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick formula. I also find hers to be super comfortable. What I love most about her lip, her liquid lipstick formula is that it stays wet enough that you can manipulate it still for quite some time actually after you get it on your lips and that's only going to be a favorite part for somebody who struggles with lips if you don't struggle with with putting lipstick on then that's not going to be a problem for you but it, it was a pro it is a problem for me so that's probably my favorite part of the Huda, Huda Beauty liquid lipstick formula, but I love her, Jeffree Star, and Ofra probably are my favorite liquid lipstick formulas. As far as bullet lipstick formulas, I really, really like that MAC one, and I really, really like Becca. I think that they have impeccable bullet lipstick formulations. They're so, so comfortable. And um, what is your favorite drugstore or affordable lippy brand? I'm going to say affordable would probably be Makeup Geek Showstopper would be more on that indie end, I guess. They're just so comfortable and you don't even feel like you're wearing a liquid lipstick. They go on like a liquid lipstick, but wear more like a bullet lipstick or a gloss to some extent. Now with me saying that, like they don't move around like a gloss does or can and your hair is not going to stick to them like a gloss does, but they're comfortable like a gloss. Question number 14, lip liner, yay or nay, and then your favorite liner. I like lip liner for probably different reasons than a lot of other people like lip liner. Let's just say again, I don't wear lipstick very often because I'm a hot mess with it. I have never put lip liner on my lips and found that to be the stop zone for my lipstick. Like my lipstick still likes to travel all the over all over the place. So what I do like about lip liner is that I will put it on and wear it as a lipstick. Put a gloss over the top of it. And that's what I use my liner for. And for that reason, my favorite liners are the Buxom Plump Liners. I don't really necessarily know why they call them plump liners because they're not really a plumping 
liner but they are amazing they're kind of fat they're not little tiny like most lip liners are they are you know really easy to use because they're the size of you know those uh, fat pencils that you sometimes get in kindergarten this is what this reminds me of is like a fat pencil that you might get in kindergarten and I like that because they're easy to use you're not using trying to use this little tiny liner to fill in the whole entirety of your lip which isn't necessarily what lip liners are for I understand that but in addition to that they have a nice like brush on the other end you can use multiple of them and then use this brush to kind of feather it into each other so it blends super well kind of like an eye brush would do for your eyeshadow I love these and I have so many of them I have so many and this is just a few of them uh, because they're my favorites and what I will say too is a lot of times you can get those on well I don't think I've ever seen a Ulta 21 days of beauty without the bucks and plump liner in them and you get them for half off at that point. That's where I got a lot of mine is through that sale. I would like to honorably mention though the ColourPop lippy pencil. This is what I'm wearing today. This is the this is the shade it is. Uh, I just really think that this is the pretty perfect shade of lip liner for me and dependent on the makeup that I'm wearing or the day that I'm having it shows up a little more berry tone which gives me that appropriate vampy lip that I really kind of like with these like dark eye looks so I love it and I can feather it into the middle of my lip and then just put a gloss over the top of it and it looks really pretty perfect but that's the same kind of effect that I get from the plump liner from Buxom as well so lip liner yes or no absolutely yes but I think my absolutely yes are are is for a different reason than most people would say absolutely yes so question number 15 is a lippy trend that you loved and a lippy trend that you hated gloss would be a lippy trend that I love <laughs> because gloss is easy and if it travels outside of your lip line you would never know that's I think what I would say is the lippy trend that I love. The lippy trend that I hated is the one swipe lip line where girls are just lining their lips and then putting like a dark brown with a gloss over the top. I think that that looks ridiculous and if I can find a picture I will go ahead and put it in here. I think that looks stupid. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, why would you want to do that? So the bonus is, what is your ride or die? Can't live without. Life would have no meaning. Lippy. I don't know if I have one, Sherry. I'm sorry. I'm cheating. But I think that these two items here would be what I would go out and repurchase. I mean, I've already repurchased this once. And it... When it's gone, my plan is to repurchase it again. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this tag. If you are so inclined to do this tag, I would love for you to do it. Um, I think that it is an amazing tag. I think that it will serve well for many, many people who are really into lippies if you have a lippy infatuation please do this tag please let me know that you've done that I would love to come and watch you I think that there are several people that I can think of off the top of my head that I think should do this tag but I think Sherry already tagged them so I'm gonna just tell you if you want to do this tag please do it please tag me please let me know that you've done it I would love to come and support you please also tag my friend Sherry she is the creator of this tag and she deserves all the recognition that we can get her out there thank you guys so much for joining me today I hope that you enjoyed this tag and I hope that you're having an amazing January it's almost over already and until next time guys bye